In this video we will be taking PDF files and turning them into flashcards using Polar. Hey friend, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. My name is still Alexander. I create open source software to help people all around the world be more successful in their learning journeys. Polar supports incremental reading among other things. You can sync data from Polar into Anki using the Anki Connect add-on, which we'll be installing later on. So this way you can go from annotations to Anki flashcards. So uh, we're going to install everything from scratch today. So if you have Anki installed, there's going to be some timestamps. You can skip ahead. You don't need to watch this from the beginning. Polar supports a robust annotation system internally with features like text and area highlights and allowing comments and flashcards to be attached directly to the highlights. The key advantage is that this system not only creates flashcards, but keeps context associated with the flashcards. So context is important when using space repetition. You don't want to forget the context in the future. You might forget about the topic or want to review. And knowing the context is extremely important. So first, let's head on over here to Anki, download the Anki desktop app, get it installed. It's going to open any moment now. I'm running on Mac OS, so I'm using the DMG. There are other platforms. Pick the one that's appropriate for you if you don't have Anki installed. So let's drag Anki into the applications directory there and then close it up. I think we're also going to unmount it there. And let's just start it to make sure it's there. Verifying. Open it. And uh, we're just going to pick English US. Are you sure you wish to? Yeah. We, we, do you want to? And then you're going to get this Anki 2.1 comes with a new scheduler, which fixes a number of issues that previous Anki versions had. Updating to it is recommended. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Update. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm just going to go ahead there. Updated. We'll put Anki here on the side. Come back to that later. Let's head on over here to Polar. And uh, we are going to go ahead and download Polar there. And when it's ready, we're going to install it. So you can see it's uh, available for all major platforms. You can get it for Windows, Mac OS and uh, also Linux. So drag on over uh, Polar here and uh, that's going to install. You can see it's a little bit big. So just uh, wait for it to copy over. OK, now that we have Polar installed, I'll just go ahead and start it here. Open it up there. I think I'm going to restart it there. So you can see um, you're going to need an account to run Polar. So this is actually a limitation, uh, but it's fine in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new account here and I have an email address I want to use. So you're going to receive an email with the code. This is my code. I'm going to copy that and then paste that in, verify the code and Polar should have created an account now. So you can see I actually do have um, some files from before, but let's just ignore those. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, install the Anki Connect add-on and we're actually going to need some changes. So let's copy this code. It's going to be in the description too. So check that out and head on over here to Anki. I just hit the shift command A, but uh, if you're not used to the shortcuts, you can click on the tools there and then add-ons or get add-ons and paste your code. Okay, it's gonna download the add-on. Unfortunately, you have to restart this um, to get the add-on to work. So, okay, restart, quit Anki and then open it up again. That's gonna enable the Anki Connect, uh, but that's not enough uh, for it to work. So. Let's try to sync here. There's a sync button. You can see it there. Click the sync button. It's going to give us an error message. Could not sync to Anki. And that's because um, there's some uh, connection issue between uh, Polar here and Anki. So Anki Connect is what Polar is using to talk to Anki. So let's click these instructions. And we're going to get this page here, uh, which is going to show us uh, some uh, JSON. And what we really need is just this one line here. So let's copy that and then head on over back to Anki, click on tools, add-ons, same place we were earlier. And uh, instead now we're gonna click on config. We're gonna get the configuration set up here. It looks mostly correct. Just this one line, which is missing for Polar here. So we're gonna allow course for Polar. So the communication goes through. Let me re-indent this by 
removing the one space it looks tidy now and make sure you add this one line nothing else you don't uh, want to make any errors in here so I'll, I'll have this in the description below a link to a gist file so you can copy paste it looks correct now or you can also just copy paste it from the link there there now we have it and let's also just restart just to make sure um, it loads properly so if we head on back to polar now let's get polar running again i'm restarting it because it opened the web page right so it went away now we can try hitting the sync button and you can see it created a few uh, decks here and that's because i had already used polar nine months ago so you can see i've definitely wanted to get the video out on polar <laughs> i just haven't gotten around to doing it so the syntax here is actually straightforward um, let's create a new um, deck in anki we're gonna say hey um, we want a new tag and that tag is gonna be uh, so Polar supports the syntax where you can write deck colon and then the name of the Anki deck. And the slashes indicate the hierarchy. So this would be X, the top level, and then X below. But uh, we just want the top level one. We're going to call this countries. Countries we're learning about. So let's click OK. And we don't really have anything there. I'm just going to go here to my PDF files and then take this. Japan and Norway just drag them into Polar so it's gonna upload your PDF files and uh, let's see the PDF files one is uploaded the second one is uploading and yeah so the UI can seem a little bit slow because it's performing everything online let me remove that and you can see here is the that's actually can we uh, let's just remove the added and then updated and just have the tags there so japan and norway we are gonna select them and then add uh, tags to them so there are limits to the free version as you can see but uh, we're we're within the limit because we're just gonna add one tag we add it to countries you can see the deck here or the tag updated so let's open up this uh, pdf here and actually let's go into full screen um, so you can see it's a PDF article about Japan. There are so many links here that uh, Polar is getting confused. So the, this, so let's actually do a capture area. I capture that and then uh, now it creates uh, a highlight here or annotation. So let's create a flashcard from that. How many, how many prefectures are there in Japan? Question mark and we're gonna say 47 make that bold and create that so we created our first flashcard now if we hit the sync and go back here to Anki we can see it created uh, absolutely nothing that doesn't make any sense so let's try adding the countries tag and let's try hitting sync yeah no so now it uh, added it uh, for some reason i don't know why it didn't add it but um, you can add the tags and then just hit the sync again uh, so it can be slow uh, maybe it's doing some network connection stuff to be honest i really don't know what it's doing so sometimes it can be slow so there's our first um, capture area let's try to see if we can select um, some text so here um, we'll select this let's create a flashcard from this and we're gonna change the type here instead of using a front and back we're gonna change it to a close so we can uh, occlude stuff in the sentence the name for Japan in Japanese is written using the kanji there we'll occlude that and then Nippon occlude that that uh, and then uh, click the create bam so we created a close deletion now and let's hit the sync so now it created those um, this one we already know how many prefectures are there in Japan let me actually center this so we can look at it better uh, 47 we'll just suspend or bury the note yeah so that's uh, close uh, deletion notes and um, so you can see text selection is still going to be uh, an issue. That's actually, yeah, so you can use colors if you want. Let's make that red and then um, uh, create a flashcard from that. 
and let's say what's the capital of what's the capital of Japan let's remove these coordinates it's a nicer way to just quickly add something so let's uh, save bam we get that and if we sync again we can see it's gonna show up here what's the capital of Japan it's Tokyo of course easy that's how you uh, can create flashcards uh, from your PDF files using uh, Polar. I hope this was useful for you and uh, if you'd like to support the channel you can head on to the Patreon and uh, sign up for any of the tiers. I'm doing live streams on Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday so uh, if you want to come hang out and uh, chat about Anki stuff or Notion to Anki just join the Discord to get notified when I'm going live. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.